One thing I always wanted to see more of was Vader getting in and out of his suit the entire assembly process and his thoughts throughout the entire time. I'm going to share with you as much information that's out there, which isn't much, but what little there is, is pretty interesting. In Rogue One, we got to see our first sliver of that image when we see him briefly in the Bacta tank, almost like some freaky monster chained inside a glass wall of reparative goo. I'm going to first say, I like what Disney is doing with all the new Vader stories they're releasing. However, one of the big things I miss about the now Legends Vader comics by Dark Horse were just how dark they were, and how threatening the illustrations were. They almost made Vader's body look like an even more muscular Darth Maul. In this comic, which is Legends, we open it to a very confusing page, enriched with color and brightness, which I want you to pay attention to. As we see Anakin and Padme discussing their newborn child, and how he's strong with the Force, it then goes on to show Padme concerned of how their son will fit into society to make his own decisions without living in the shadow of Anakin Skywalker, the man who saved Mace Windu from Palpatine and ended the Sith altogether, saving the galaxy. Now, this video will be short, but the information it provides is something many haven't seen regarding Vader's emotions and his suit disassembly. This next scene will make sense in a moment. As the two kiss and part ways, Anakin says to her that she's the only thing that keeps him sane. Now I want you to take note of the bright saturated colors and the flowers, almost like a dream showcasing the happiness and warmth that emanates from the scene. Flip the page and we're hit with this dark, almost black and white contrasted photo of a disfigured Vader closing his eyes and murmuring for Padme to keep him sane, almost crying on the inside it seems. The next scene is what brings the darkness to light, where we see limbless Vader suspended in air surrounded by medical droids as they operate on him. This is the first time we get to see Vader's maintenance on his body and suit, almost like an oil change for a car. Vader had to do these every so often in order to run at peak performance. What I find interesting as well in this scene is that if you look, it seems like Darth Maul's dark eye probe droid is in the room. As a side note, these droids were actually made by the Sith Order, and the one we saw belonging to Maul was his variation and alteration of them for his spying purposes. As we close up on Vader's face, we can actually see the tears swell in his eyes, and what seems like a stream running down his cheek. He still did have emotions, and they all pointed towards Padme, the core of his pain and the reason for his ever-growing power. As he's about to be put together, we can see that his cybernetics each have wires that go into his severed stumps all systematically connecting the right sockets to nerve endings, neurons, and receptors, bringing Vader's damaged body to power. As Vader is lowered to the ground and dons his suit once again, he orders for his helmet as Sidious is calling him. We should also note how he schedules his next appointment. I wonder if this is because every time he does so, it allows him to fantasize about Padme and his younger self. The premise of this video is to discuss and showcase just how Vader got through some of the most difficult times in the Empire, taking his mind elsewhere and letting his body do the mechanical part, no pun intended. He would think of the past with Padme or fantasize about what the future might have been like. Vader did tons of this in his downtime. As mentioned in the novel The Rise and Fall of Darth Vader, which I've covered in other videos, he actually thinks about how he would be sitting in a giant throne on Coruscant with Padme and his children had he not killed Master Windu. The thought is then interrupted and we don't get to read more about it ever again after that. But this comic showcases it quite well. Vader was still Anakin deep down. His love for Padme was the sole reason he defied the Jedi and destroyed the galaxy. While I have covered a video on this topic, it makes me wonder if these images of him and Padme were what was going through his head right before he slaughtered the younglings, or when he carried out any of the dark deeds that he did. As the comic continues, he goes to meet his master. He's summoned on a mission with the 501st to retrieve one of Tarkin's officers. The rest of the comic is interesting in itself and includes six issues which all have really graphic and cool storylines that Vader embarked on. If you're okay with it being Legends, I'd like to cover them in different videos until we get the new canon Vader comics in June. They're really cool. I find these little snippets of Vader losing his suit helps us better see him as not just this angry tyrant, but really for what he is, which is in my opinion, the most depressed and sad villain of all time. Ironically, if he wasn't so miserable, he would never have been so feared and powerful. Let me know if you want me to continue these stories. For those who have been asking for t-shirts, I've made this one here, and you can check out the link below. And I'll see you all in tomorrow's episode of Star Wars Theory. Until then, my fellow Jedi and Sith friends, 
Remember, the Force will be with you. Always.